Hey guys, welcome back. So most of you know I'm doing a Scrambler 4 liter swap. I'm also using the AW4 out of the Cherokee unit. And I'm trying to get the front drive belt package as tight as I can. So from a recommendation from my friend Dave, uh, let's uh, go with a 94-95 serpentine belt from a YJ setup. We're gonna make sure everything works with the 2001 alternator. And that's what we're doing now. I've got everything stripped off of the engine and um, get you set up and then I'll show you how this works. Okay guys, I'm gonna share with you how to get this water pump pulley off. So a lot of you guys will be doing this stuff in the car uh, with the belt on. So you could either take the belt and wrap it around the pulley and wrench it up or you can grab one of these. This one is a uh, cobalt it's a loose all it is is a simple little band strap I put mine on here of course that one's loose already you pull with this one and push down on this one and that band will actually hold that pulley and you know, sometimes in a car you're limited on space and this is pretty much compact enough that you can get in there and get all those bolts off because the water pump pulley bolts or the water pump bolts are back here and this is a four liter so I'm converting this over to a YJ uh, type belt system and I'm going to put a mechanical fan. That's not cool. Then you got this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt. My whole water pump will come off along with this tube. I recommend when you get a water pump, you're putting a water pump on unless this tube is brand new. I would replace it. It's cheap insurance. I think it's like six bucks. So we're gonna take the water pump off and I guarantee you, even though I've got tons of coolant in there, there's more. Let me see if you notice a lot of these bolts go in through the water jacket and um, I always put a sealant on these. One, I don't want it to corrode. Two, just keeps it from leaking. I usually use a liquid cup on. Let's see, I'm getting water out of that. Notice I got the bucket down there. Probably tomorrow I'm going to be pressure washing this and the scrambler. Getting it ready to be installed. Look at that, see? Let's have it. Antifreeze, mechanics nemesis. You can tell I already took the thermostat off, but y'all have done a thermostat. And it's super simple. Okay. Look at that. Okay, so here's okay so here's what i'm working with so this bracket right here 
is from a 95 Jeep YJ with a 4 liter. So we know it's going to bolt right up. This bracket right here is from a Jeep Grand Cherokee with a 4 liter. The difference between it is this ribbing right here. So it's stronger than the uh, 94 through 90 alternator mount. So it sits like so. You can't see what I'm doing. Okay, so that bracket sits like so right here. So we're gonna go ahead and test fit that. Maybe I should've had these bolts out. So this, this hole right here in a timer cover is just a pass through, there's no threads in it. So you can see this is where those bolts go in. I have those in a bucket. Um, I'm not sure if I wanna fish those out right now. So we're just test fitting before we put everything together. Tighten everything up. I'm not gonna send it home, we're just gonna tighten it up to make sure everything fits. Alright, so the next uh, bracket will bolt to these three bolts and through here. So this is a pass through also, just like this one is. Um, there's actually a special bolt that has a stud on the end of this for a few other accessories on the uh, 2001 Cherokee. But we don't really need that. It looks just like this one down here. So there's a bolt on the inside here. You can take this pulley off and get to it a little bit better, but like I said, we're just mocking this up right now, make sure everything works. Let me get a bolt, see if I can pass through the app. This one. Yep, passes through perfect. Use that alone. Okay, so we'll snug these guys up. This, one, this one's kind of a bear to get to. Ooh, good enough. Good and tight. Okay, so this is my old alternator off of the 2001 Cherokee. As you can see, this thing had a horrible noise, but it was still generating power. But as you can see, it's cracked right there. This front bearing in this case is gone. So this is just for mock-up. So that fits. Let's see this one. Can I see that? Okay, so there's one bolt that stabilizes the alternator. Everything fits. We gotta find the right bolt for that, but at least that bolt fits through there, it's true to the size. So. Okay, so, so it's a Heinz 57 of parts. 94-95 YJ, 4 liter, alternator bracket. Uh, it also has provision for an air conditioner uh, compressor on top if you need to. Um, 
but I'll probably end up putting my ARB pump right here and uh, mounting that in some sort. Uh, lower Grand Jeep Grand Cherokee 4 liter ZJ uh, alternator mounting bracket and a 2001 Jeep Cherokee alternator. So we know all that will work. And there it is. Here's your whole bracket system. So like I said, 94 to 95 YJ alternator. Uh, I think it was a 95, 96 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee four liter lower alternator mounting bracket because that's reinforced, it's ribbed and stronger. And 2001 Jeep Cherokee alternator. All that lines up, lines up with my Harmont balancer, the idler. And uh, there's also another idler that's gonna go in this system on the tensioner. So that tensioner I know fits because it came off of the 2001 Jeep Grand Cherokee. So that's your whole setup right there if you're gonna you know, make it nice and tight and tuck it in for the scrambler. Now I've put the 2001 Jeep Cherokee whole belt drive system in a scrambler before on my old scrambler. It still fits, but it's really tight in here. This tight, tucks it up nice and tight up against the block. So anyway, I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, we also took the, the uh, not all here, but water pump pulley and water pump and all that stuff off tonight. And uh, the only thing I'm gonna be using from that is the bolts off of it. Because we're gonna put a 94 uh, water pump on here. So it has a provision for the fan clutch. Cause I don't like the electric fans on my vehicle. So I've had them fail at the wrong time. So we're gonna put a fan clutch on it, heavy duty fan clutch with a uh, big haze blade on it. I think it's six so, blade. I had a broken bolt right here. And it was concerning me because on the other side, now bear with me, it's nasty. But this bolt right here and this bolt right here were bent. And I thought that maybe they had them in cross threaded, but well, I'll tighten them back up because I'm gonna pressure wash this thing tomorrow. But they thread right out. And went and got a pair of needle nose. So, you know, sometimes when you break a bolt off, you relieve the tension on the bolt. So right here, let me zoom in. So I reached in here and I wiggled it and I was like, oh man, wiggles a little bit. So, and then I just turned it. Eureka, man. I thought I was gonna have to drill and tap this bolt out. But my buddy Dane got half of my valve cover bolts, so I gotta find some valve cover bolts. Anyway. That thing, oh, that's gonna save me a lot. All right, I just thought I'd share those little tidbits with you. Um, anyway, uh, if you're up now, you're up. Kind of late, it's 10 o'clock. Uh, I'm used to being up this late. Anyway, have a good night. Thought I'd share that with you. Try to catch me howling at the moon.